Suriname, one of the most biologically and culturally diverse areas in the world today. As a developing nation, the youngest independent country in South America, its government face a real challenge. How do they utilize their rich natural resources without destroying their environment? So this is Paramaribo. Paramaribo, the name actually means the old wooden city. Of the 400,000 people that live in Suriname, pretty much every single one of them lives here. It's not strictly true, but the interior, a huge space, is inhabited by no more than 50,000 people, and that's split into basically two different groups. Amerindians, or the indigenous communities, the first inhabitants of this area, and the Maron peoples of African origin who are displaced in a way. They're runaway slaves brought here in the 17th century by the Dutch and the English who fought for and won their freedom in around 1670. And Suriname is in a very rare position. 90% of its jungle or its forest is still intact. Now, at the same time, it's struggling financially. So, it's a real dilemma. The international communities are saying, well, don't cut down your forest for timber. And they turn around and say, well, what other resources do we have? Now, in this first show, we're looking at one of the ways they're trying. It's by the development of ecotourism. For the last couple of days, myself and my crew have been setting up our trip through the jungle on a virgin trail that no one's ever been on before. I think it's the perfect way to start. I'm totally unprepared for it. So is the crew. And uh, it really is the deepest, darkest jungle. 